This is the world's first 3D movie. It is really meaningful. In the first week, it caused everyone to flock to the street. Movie tickets have increased four times compared to the first ticket price. But still sell out within minutes. After all, why could it took? The global box office champion position for 12 years, thanks to its wonderful effect thanks to the beauty of the heroine. Or thanks to its astonishing scenes. After watching, you will probably find the answer. I am pleased to introduce, Avatar. A good drama starts right now. In a spaceship, in 2154 AD. A paralyzed old marine, Jake. Awakened from sleeping in the compartment. Undergoing a five light year flight. This luxury cargo ship finally landed. The planet Pandora was four light years away from Earth. This was a planet with life similar to Earth. But the sight was terrible. In the air there was a poison which was not suitable for respiration. Even a qualified soldier after training would hardly survive. If it were not for Jake's twin brother suddenly had an unexpected accident. And the experiment needed similar genes. He absolutely wouldn't have been sent to this place. After entering the biology lab. The researcher briefly introduced Jake to the work. In the following days they would take control of an organism. Using human genes in combination with Navi genes. To create, avatar. To complete various types of research projects and tasks. Grace was in charge of the laboratory. She had lived on the planet Pandora for many years. Knowing the Navi clearly. But when she saw Jake. The guy who did not understand anything. She immediately entered the command room to find the manager. But the manager was obviously even angrier than her. The company spent a lot of money to explore the planet Pandora. That's because of the unobtainium which was worth 20 million per kilograms. Not to make friends with local people. If three months later they could not make any progression. They all had to get out. Grace could only compromise. On the second day, Avatar's body was finished preparing. Jake entered the synapse chamber. As brain sync reached 100%. He woke up in Avatar's body. Feeling the lower half of the body which had been paralyzed for many years. Jake did not listen to the doctor who was stopping him. Excitedly bursting out of the laboratory. Soon after, Grace caught up. Seeing Jake taking control of Avatar for the first time. His movement was so flexible. It seemed like a bit of a recognition for her. After getting out of the Avatar body. Jake wandered around in the base. Coincidentally meeting the commander who was busy cleaning up the equipment. His thoughts and Grace's thoughts were completely opposite. He decided to fight and take over the area to dig for unobtainium. The commander said to Jake. As long as he could provide vital intelligence on the Navi. After returning to Earth, his legs would be cured. Jake immediately agreed after hearing. The day of going out for the second task was coming. Grace led everyone to go deep into the jungle. This dense forest on Earth had disappeared for many years. Jake curiously observed the strange plants around. Being careless had brought on a major problem. Do you still remember this six-leg rye? Its body was twice that of an elephant. Having thick skin and a hot temper. Although it was an herbivore, it had amazing attack power. Grace warned Jake not to move around arbitrarily. But Rai stormed here. Jake shouted out to face with it bravely. Scaring it and it did not dare to come near. When he was still proud of his heroism. He realized that. The thing that it was afraid of was Thanator behind him. This leopard-like creature was the best predator on land. The defense that Rai formed. Made Thanator unable to eat it. It suddenly turned and stared at Jake. The body was a bit small, but anyway it was meat. Jake ran all the way, finally jumping into a waterfall to escape. Leaving the group, he could only find a way to survive in the wilderness alone. Without paying attention to a female Navi. Hiding in the tree stealthily watching. When she was about to draw and shoot her bow at him. A magic seed fell on the arrowhead. For the Navi that was a kind of mystical sign. She decided to bring Jake back to the tribe. Moa in the tribe after observing him once. Decided to let the daughter, Neytiri. Teach him how to survive as the Navi. Just the loincloth made the butt a bit uncomfortable. The Navi chose an inexperienced person like Jake to join the tribe. Grace could hardly imagine, though. But it also made her feel a tremendous euphoria. This might be an opportunity to, once again with the Navi, build friendship together. Knowing this, the manager and the commander were also very happy. Just getting as much internal information as possible. Under home tree of the Navi. Large quantities of unobtainium were buried there. Just making they move away. Then there would be numerous quantities to exploit. But Grace didn't want them to get involved in this. So she brought the equipment to a hidden room. There was an island around here. Floating in the air due to magnetic force. And a mountain had magnetism that could disable electronic devices. Since then, during the day Jake learned to ride a horse and hunt with Neytiri. Recording the learning and highlights at night. It wasn't long before he became an official soldier. He could follow the Navi to the floating island to choose a riding animal. Trying very hard, he finally tamed a dragon. After becoming a flying hunter, Jake's hunting skill improved significantly. But in the sky there was an even stronger killer. Torek was the sky master of Pandora. In the Navi's documents, only five people had successfully tamed Torek. To become the legendary Torek hunter, they had once called the entire tribe. Leading the Navi through a difficult gate. Three months had passed quickly. Jake was accepted to become a tribal man. This life made it difficult for him to free himself. It was a lovely evening. He and Neytiri let go of themselves under home tree. But what awaited them next? Was a battle. The earthlings having endless greed. And the innocent aliens. Which side would you choose? Jake was playing so happily, forgetting the way back. The manager who had to wait lost his temper. He told the commander to cover the forest of the Navi. Unplugging Jake's network cable. According to the documents, the Navi did not need anything of the human race. It was impossible to ask them to leave home tree. If so, then they could only force them to leave. Jake wanted to advise the Navi to leave home tree. Frankly speaking it all out to them. Neytiri felt that he was a betrayal. Tying him and Grace up. At this moment, the commander quickly arrived at the spaceship. In the fierce fire attack, home tree fell down. Jake was unplugged the network cable again. A female soldier could not bear the commander's behavior anymore. Stealthily opening the prison door to save them. While running away, Grace was unfortunately hit by a bullet and she was dying. To regain the Navi's truth. 
Jake decided to challenge an impossible task. In front of home tree, he rode Torek and slowly landed. Seeing Torek rider in front of their eyes, the Navi had no longer feared. Jake pleaded with the tribe's Moa to bring Grace's soul into Avatar. Jake stood under home tree calling for the tribes. The power of earthlings was great. Only together that they could win. The Navi would never become slaves. Then he quickly went to the tribes. Gathering more than 2,000 soldiers risking their life to fight. On the other hand, the commander was also incougaring soldiers before the battle. A large number of explosives were brought into the spacecraft. Before setting off, Jake repeatedly pleaded with home tree for help. The earth had been completely destroyed by mankind. He absolutely couldn't let them destroy the planet Pandora too. The great army of the mankind landed on the floating island. Due to the interference of the magnetic mountain, it was impossible to use rockets. They might even have a chance to win. Leveraging the terrain and surprising. Jake's attack had an unexpected effect. But after the enemy responded, they easily used powerful fire to attack. The army destroyed the navi. Right then the wild beasts of the forest burst out in great numbers. Home tree responded to Jake's plea. The situation reversed in the blink of an eye. The commander jumped out of the spaceship to fight with Jake. He broke the synapse chamber. The poisonous air caused Jake to fall into a coma. At the moment of danger Neytiri shot two consecutive arrows, ending the life full of sins of the commander. In the end, most of the earthling were sent back to earth. Thanks to home tree, Jake moved into Avatar forever. The movie ends here. The appearance of Avatar sets the stage for a new era. The global box office with a take of 19 billion could not be taken over until Avengers 4 was released, just breaking the final record of this movie. In history, good movies are not outdated at any time. Every time I watch Avatar, again, the beautiful memories of those years.